The feeling when you first see the steampunker respawn. You run over to see what she sells and you're so ready to finally buy the contaminator. And some of that green juice too, why not? So how do these logic gates work? Well basically you have these lamps which is where you connect your inputs to such as switches and this means when you press the switch the lamp is either going to turn on or off and depending on which lamps are turned on above the logic gates the logic gate is going to do different things depending on which type of logic gate it is this is an AND gate meaning it's only going to turn on if both lamps are on and here we have an example of how different logic gates do different things even though the lamps are turned on in the same way so to build our own let's first place a logic gate place our lamps on top of the logic gates, place our inputs, this can be anything from switches to pressure plates. Let's hook up the input to the lamp and do the same with the other one. Make sure to use a different colored wire though so they don't connect together. We can now place a light that we want to turn off. We can connect the logic gate to the lamp and if only both switches are on, the lamp should turn off. So why is this useful or where are we going to go from here? Well, the secret is that we can put several logic gates together to create a circuit. And these circuits will be way more useful than just a logic gate alone. And I'll be exploring which types of circuits you can build in future videos. But I think that's it for me today. Stay tuned for future tutorials and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.